Hello everyone, this is Joshua Goring with DoItWithCMS.com and today I'm going to be talking about the different kinds of types of content management systems or more specifically I want to talk about the different types of web content management systems and I'll talk about the general content management systems and the purpose driven content management systems. Let's start off by talking about general content management systems. Now these kinds of content management systems usually have no specific purpose. So in other words, this means that you can do whatever you want. For example, general or all-purpose content management systems will provide you with the basics such as an administrative control panel, content publishing, and the option to control the design and structure of your website. Now, although they don't have a specific purpose originally, uh, general content management systems can be made into something specific using things like modules, plugins, or extensions that will add to the basic or core functionality of the general CMS. For example, using modules you can turn the general CMS Drupal specifically into such things like a premium membership website, a file downloading website, or a classified ads website and so much more. Some popular general content management systems include Drupal, Joomla, and CMS Made Simple. Let's talk about purpose-driven content management systems. Now these types of content management systems usually have one or more specific purposes. Some of the popular types include blog software or blogging software. Now the main purpose of this software is to publish content about a person or company in a blog type format. However, most people now will call blog software a content management system due to the fact that most blogging software will allow you to manage things like custom pages, blog posts, users, roles, and even files. Now this means you can create entire websites that have nothing to do with a traditional blog using blogging software. And some of the popular blog software includes WordPress and movable type. Now moving on, we'll talk about e-commerce software. Now of course, the main purpose of this software is to sell products or services online. Although not originally designed to be treated like a traditional CMS, e-commerce software now has the ability to do things outside of e-commerce, such as add articles, blog posts, and other types of content. As you can see, some of the uh, more popular e-commerce software includes Zencart, Miva Merchant, and Magento. E-learning software. The main purpose of this software is to allow users to learn about something online. So obviously education is going to be highly emphasized here. Popular features here include curriculums, quizzes, tests, and the ability to see your progress in grades online. However, due to the flexibility of the software, these can often be treated just like traditional content management systems. And some of the more popular e-learning software includes Moodle and Atutor. Wiki software. This software normally serves to let users collaborate with each other and to edit pages on a website. Now due to the flexibility of the software, you can create a variety of different sites, which is why many will place the software in the same category as a traditional CMS. Popular wiki software includes MediaWiki 
and TikiWiki. And last but definitely not least, social media software. Now this type of software focuses on allowing users to build online communities, to manage user profiles, to join networks, to message each other, to upload content, to write personal and business blog posts, and to manage events. Now because of all this flexibility and the ability to add in more features via modules, plugins, and extensions, it's very hard to distinguish this type of software from a traditional content management system, much like the other examples used above. As you can see, popular social media software includes PHP Fox, Rays, Boonex's Dolphin, and Elg. Now finally, I want to talk about the overlap of content management systems. They have some personal examples that I want to share with you all about how I experienced this. Um, example number one, I've built many different websites that had no blog on them actually using blogging software. And another example is that I've built many different websites that were primarily um, supposed to be served as a blog with a general content management system. So with all of the modules, plugins, and extensions out there, it is becoming more and more difficult to distinguish between all of the previously mentioned examples of the different types of software from each other. This means that it also gets more and more difficult to actually define what a content management system specifically is. Thank you for watching this video presentation. Again, my name is Joshua Goring, and if you all want to stay updated with all of our new releases, come check us out at doitwithcms.com, and if you want to email me personally, you can contact me at joshuag at doitwithcms.com. Okay, have a good day.